has approved that education gives this appearance of weakness of two females. We may instance the example of military men, who are, like them, sent into the world before their minds have been stored with knowledge or fortified by principles. The consequences are similar. Soldiers acquire a little superficial knowledge, snatched from the muddy current of conversation, and from continual mixing with society, they gain what is termed a knowledge of the world. And this acquaintance with manners and customs has frequently been confounded with a knowledge of the human heart. But can the crude fluid of observation, never brought to the test of judgment, formed by comparing speculation and experience, deserve such a distinction? Soldiers as well as women practice the minor virtues with punctuous politeness. Where is then the sexual difference when the education has been the same? All the difference that I can discern arises from the superior advantage of liberty, which enables the former to see more of life. It is wandering from my present subject, perhaps, to make a political remark, but, but as it was produced naturally by the train of my reflections, I shall not pass it silently over. Standing armies can never consist of resolute, robust men. They may be well-disciplined machines, but they will certainly contain men under the influence of strong passions or with very vigorous faculties. And as for any depth of understanding, I will venture to affirm that it is rarely to be found in the army as amongst women, and the cause I maintain is the same. It may be fully observed that officers are also particularly attentive to their persons, born of dancing, crowded rooms, adventures, and ridicule. First, like the fair sex, the business of their lives is gallantry. They were taught to please and they only live to please. Yet they do not lose their rank in the distinctions of sexes, for they are still reckoned superior to women, taught in what their superiority consists beyond what I have just mentioned. It is difficult to discover. <laughs>